All right, welcome back. I am Dr. Ruckus bringing you a new deck every single day, and today we're playing Boros Magecraft Aggro. This deck is kind of surprisingly sweet. Put it together, yeah, felt a little gimmicky, you know, whatever, we'll see how it goes, but did quite well today. Went 10 and 5 in Mythic with a 67% win rate, and not only was the win rate decently high, the games were very quick, between 2 and 5 minutes per game. So if you're looking to rank up and rank up quickly, this is a solid deck for it. Should know most of the cards by now. We have the base of Clever, Lumomancer, and Leon and Lightscribe, but we're trying out a new alchemy card as well, the Frenzied Geist Blaster. One on a red for a 2-2 prowess, which means whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. But also when it enters the battlefield, you can drop a card off from your hand, usually a land, don't need more than three, four lands for this deck most of the time, and then you seek a random instant or sorcery into your hand. So it's nice that early game, it can uh, trigger prowess to get in for some damage, but if you draw it late game, you can drop off an extra land and refill your hand with another instant or sorcery. So that's pretty good. I, I liked the card a lot today. Also have Ancestral Anger, one red to give one of your creatures plus X plus O, and also Trample, which is very important, and draw a card. This is nice. Nice for tying the deck together. And four copies of Angel Fire Ignition, which is just straight gas, which you can land it. Outside of kind of the usual suspects of the deck, we also run four copies of Beaming Defiance, which can grant Hexproof, and four copies of Sejiri Shelter, which can grant protection against the color. Most of the time, you just want to play these on your turn as pumps for your creatures. But if you know the opposing deck well enough, and you, you really should only do this if you think you really know what's coming, you can save it for your opponent's turn. So if you know next turn your opponent is likely to drop and divide by zero, you can save your Beaming Defiance to give it Hexproof at the last second and dodge that. Most of the time, just use them as pump spells, but if you know our, we know what you're up against, you can play around it. That's the deck. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Light. All right. Let's go. Yeah, this is okay, I think. We can make this work. No one drop. Light scribe on two. Start on a mountain here, I think. Alright, opponent get mulligans. Okay, okay. Save our Sejiri's shelter, I think. Alright. That's a tough one, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Lots of light scribes ready, though. Yep, no blocks. Three to the face. Okay, Sculptor of Winter comes down. I think I want more red. Um, rather, more white. Well, let's go like this. Pump you. Trigger, trigger. Draw another card. All right, let's get in there. If we get Angel Fire Ignition cooking next turn, uh, can get some much needed lifelink. Kind of regretting not playing the shelter tapped at this point. Tap one manually. All right, so this means random seven's coming out. Unnatural growth. All right, can we race unnatural growth? Yeah, no blocks. Take six here. Can I get a land? I do hit a land. How big is that? That's pretty big. Okay. Nice. Ancestral Anger. What can we get up to? Whew, almost there. Do we need to block for 12? We're about to go up 10. I think we're okay. <coughs> well, that's game. Oops. <laughs> All right. I am the best magic player to live. Cool. I'll take it. Sorry about that. All right. Have a creature keep this and we got shelter down tapped keep the second shelter around all right all right mountain here geist blaster i think we drop the land here doing okay on land all right that's a great card cemetery gatekeeper okay first strike acquired we can get through that pretty easily 
All right, what do we want here? We could hold up shelter against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I think holding up shelter is probably pretty good here. We could also just get them, though. But they likely have, you know, play with fire or something. I think we just do it like this. Can block on the way back. Shelter if we need to. I think this is a little more conservative play. Okay, let's see if they have removal here. I guess play with fire and frostbite are too small. And they do. We're ready for it. Uh, what is this, red? Nice, nice. Okay. Feeling good here, feeling good. Light scribe down. I think we just go courage here. Continue to pump this guy up. Get him for six. All right, down to eight. Can only play one Ancestral Anger next turn. Stuck on red. Opponent down to six. This is good. This is good. They have more Thunder and Rebuke here. That's the question. We're all tapped out. Only Sorcery cards in hand. All right, they leave mana open. Do we need this land? Not really. Guiding voice. Look okay, at they have it. <coughs> Instant speed here. Is there anything here that's worth playing? If I knew what they were going to play, I could name something, but that's all right. Let's just start with an anger here. Spread out the love a little bit. Nice. Card draw. Okay. Play this out. Take two. That's fine. That's fine. Add Trample to this one. If they have double Fading Hope, I will cry, but... Going for the win here. Going for the win here. Alright, they do have removal. Divide comes through. That's okay. That's okay. Guiding Voice here. What are we going to want? They scoop! Alright, alright. Very nice, very nice. Sonic the Jester. Alright, mixing a couple things here. Sonic the Hedgehog meets Batman. Okay, we can make this work, we can make this work. Tap land on one. Let's do it. Probably save the Geist Blaster until... Uh, get you on white. Scribe comes down. Okay. Well, we could try to draw into more land. That's not the world's worst play. I kind of like that. Let's give it a go. No land acquired. All right. Let's get in there. Doesn't appear to be any stick from the opponent. I think they have nothing on turn two. Have the sharks here. All right, so this is actually a uh, Esper. Could be control, could be clerics. All right, looks like clerics. Take the other scribe. We do hit our third land. That's pretty nice. <coughs> I think we go Lumomancer, Guiding Voice, and Homestead Courage. That should get us out of range of everything, I think. Homestead Courage. So you're going to be big enough no matter what. So are you. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we put it. What do we want next turn? I 
I could just go sciences, I think. Keep hitting land. They scoop on that. <laughs> okay, all right. Nice, nice, nice. Nightmare. Spooky avatar, for sure. Two reds. <coughs> that is a mulligan. For sure, for sure. All right. That's a keep. I think we just drop off one of these lands. Okay, tap land on one. All right, up against clerics. Scribe comes down. Geist Blaster feels more like a late game, just refuel card. Plus, you know, it can be powerful on its own. All right, a little bit of a slow start. Nope, second voice of the blast comes down. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be a tricky matchup. They do nothing, though. Well, we definitely want this land. Only have red. So we could go Light Scribe and Angel. And see how they want to respond to that. I would love it if they traded. I doubt they will. Nice, nice. Five damage coming in. You can double block if you want. It's very tempting. No, take five. Smart cookie is smart. But we have a lot of damage coming in soon. Spellwinder comes in. Not sure what they would take here. Could go Beaming Defiance and Ancestral Anger next turn. Just pump through a ton of damage. I have to force him to block at some point. Okay, they take the Lumomancer. Yeah, that's a lot of damage on its own. Would love for them to trade off. No blocks, no blocks. Let's see if we can pull off some nutty win this turn. Probably not likely. Um, but an Angel Fire Ignition here, for example, could, could be big. All right, the Shelter. That's alright. Who do I really want to play this turn? I want to get through. That means I need to play two spells, I think. So let's start here. Alright, land acquired. Does that change anything? We're already big enough to get through, so we could play the Lumomancer. And then get through for even more next turn. You come in on white. I think I like that. I think I like that. Attack for 10 here. Really pressure the opponent. Okay, take the chump block. That works for me. Down to 6. Moonmancer comes down. Alright, we have quite the board assembled now. Alright, alright. That's okay. That's not going to do a whole lot. They're going to take a ton of damage this turn. All right, might leave that land back for the Geist Blaster next turn. Okay, here it comes. Choose wisely. Two. That's it. Uh, I think that's probably almost certainly game, right? Is that six yet? Yep, and that's game. They don't have lifelink, right? Oh, they do have lifelink. All right, so we actually do have to do this. I'll choose blue or something. All right, that should do it. Up three. Boom. Dead. Should have blocked. Qua Q at a Q. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what they're going for there. Just keep bull. Need a little more white. <laughs> I think we need to tweak the mana base. Just a little bit. Shouldn't have so much red. Okay. Uh, potentially five color dragons here. I think we just get the scribe down this turn. Go nuts next turn. No attacks. Only have one white though. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Probably go Guiding Voice and um, Environmental Sciences. All right, Nadar comes down. Nice. That's good for us. Q 
Okay, one to the bottom. More red mana. Let's start by learning. Who's going to get bigger? I think you're going to get bigger anyway. Okay. Science is acquired. Go get a planes. Planes acquired. Alright. Let's get in there. 11 damage to the face. Takes the block. Down to 15. Okay. Next turn. Homestead Courage. Plus show of confidence, probably. Whew. Things going to heat up quickly. That's going to be a lot of damage. <clears throat> oh, they do have removal now. Looks like they're going to Dragon's Fire one of these. We'll have no mana to respond. Don't call Dragon comes down. Okay. Can we outright kill him this turn is the question. All right, you're definitely coming down. Copy for each other one you've cast this turn. Sure. That's a lot. Uh, okay. Not quite there. Very, very close. 18. Almost got him. Almost got him. Yeah. Thanks. Let's opponent down to one. We'll regain some life here with the dragon, but... I'm not sure they will be able to overwhelm us. They would need basically to play two dragons this turn to generate enough blockers. Or get a removal spell off. They have Dragon's Fire here. They could get back in it. This deck is kind of ridiculous. It's pretty gimmicky for my uh, my taste, but uh, it's getting the job done today for sure. Alright, they attack all. Two more mana. Can probably play one blocker. That will not be enough though. Infernal Grasp. Uh, all right. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Filfe. Filf. Filthy. Just filthy. That's a nice hand. That's a nice hand. Uh, between last game and this game, I tweaked the mana base a little bit. Definitely need more planes in this deck. Kind of just splashing red. Opponent thinking, so we'll go Lumomancer on one. Alright, Clerics it is. That's not a bad draw. Probably want our whole hand right now, though. Not sure what we would drop. If we draw more land here, we could potentially play the Geist Blaster next turn. Alright, I like that card, too. Would they block with a Veteran? They might. Let's just get one of these down. I mean, we could replay it. They might not block. They might think they need their life gain triggers to get their deck going. Let's see if they want to take six here. I'm okay with that. Nice. Okay. I think that's a pretty good outcome for us. Have Angel Fire Ignition next turn with Flashback. It's going to be quite good. Only have one white mana. That's definitely going to bottleneck them a little bit. Okay. Angel of Vitality comes down. Regain some life here. Definitely drop you on red. Could go Geist Blaster, nothing we really want to drop. I think we just Angel Fire Ignition away. Yep. Get him for six. Lifelink, Trample, Indestructible, all that jazz. Point it down to ten. We go up to six. Another land and we can flash it back. This deck should be light on removal that our opponent's playing. Kabira Takedown in, but too small to uh, handle us. Okay, can we hit land off the top here? Should be okay regardless. Okay. Cheeky attack coming in there. Oh, I'm still thinking about it. Alright, we do not get the... Um... So I think we start with the Anger here. Give this guy Trample. Draw a card. See if we can hit more land. We do hit more land. Alright. We can play this on red, although we don't necessarily need to. And then go Homestead, Courage, Show of Confidence. That might be enough to win by itself. I think we will play this on white. Homestead, Courage goes here. I think that might just be game by itself. Because we have Trample. Copy. Copy. <laughs> this deck is kind of ridiculous. This is a little bit silly. Descent. 1624 Mythic. Alright. Uh, no creatures. We go first. I think we have to mulligan that. 
All right, creature acquired. No red. Could put back the ignition, even though it's a fantastic card. Probably want to keep Guiding Voice to hit land. All right, we're going to put back the ignition. Turn one Lumomancer. If we don't get land, we have to go... Ugh. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. Lumomancer coming out. On the play feels good. On the play is good. Definitely need some land here. Potentially blue-white control. Tap land coming down. No fading hope this turn, which is good for us. All right, land acquired. That's quite good. I think we just drop the scribe this turn. No attacks. Okay, blue comes down. Is there any stick? They foretell Doomscar. All right. So, given that they foretell Doomscar here, we definitely want to go land. And just go Guiding Voice Sciences. We could name Doomscar here. Oh. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Doom Scar. <laughs> oh, you might not like that descent. You might not like that. Point it down to nine. Can't play Doom Scar. Yeah, they're looking at it. You can't play it this turn. You can hover as much as you want. Yep, second white source comes down. Takes three. You can't play Doom Scar, though. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, you first. Shouldn't have done that. Because um, now they can potentially Jawari we're about to play. Reading this card. Alright, that was maybe his light mistake. I got cocky. <coughs> Should have just played Homestead Courage first. Do I have to do it? I could decline and play around Jawari. Well, they probably have Divide by Zero. It's okay, it's okay. They probably have Divide by Zero. Nice, that's not, that's a decent draw. They will Doomscar next turn. Oh, have we have we messed it all up? They want to bounce this one, I think. Yeah, we got a little cocky there. We got a little cocky. They're going to Doomscar this turn. I think could have won if we just did a Homestead Courage twice. All right, so Doomscar comes down. Have to make peace with our mistakes. If we go land, Lumancer, haste. We don't. We don't. No haste. No haste. We'll deploy it all. Yeah, I had lethal last turn and missed it. Got cocky. Got too excited by our genius Doomscar play. See if we can squeak out a win regardless. They don't have that much mana available. They can only do so much per turn. Two mana goes there. I think we could have them. With three lands, they could have double Fading Hope. Or Fading Hope plus um, Faithful Absence. That's what they need here. The question is, is, can we play around that somehow? Manual taps here, leaving one open for Fading Hope. Geist Channeler comes down. All right, that means they're the divide by zero. So Angel Fire Ignition. Um, what do we prefer them to bounce? I guess we prefer them to bounce the Lumomancer. All right, now they have to bounce uh, one of these, and that'll be okay. If we put it here, they bounce Lumomancer. It doesn't really matter where we put it. Because they're going to block with the Geist Channeler anyway. So put it here so they bounce the Lumancer and it's a little cheaper to replay next turn. Alright. So we get in like that. They will divide by zero the Lumancer. They don't. They take it. Alright. Alright. Despite that blunder, <laughs> managed to squeak out that win. Nice, nice, nice. Neo. Alright. 
All right, no creatures have to mulligan this. Let's try again. Oh, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Okay, creature acquired. Probably want to put a land back. And the Geist Blaster. That's tough. That's tough. I think we go tap land. It's really tough. Really tough. We could draw land off the top next turn. Gotta play as if we're going to draw perfectly. That's our only way to get through this. Neo. I think I just played them. That's unfortunate. <coughs> well, we get a tap land here. That's okay. Yep, so you're coming in tapped. Gotta do as much as we can, as fast as we can. Three damage down. It's not over yet. Next turn, Light Scribe and Courage. Let's see if they do anything crazy here. Okay, they foretell Doomscar, so let's just not deploy all our creatures then. Let's hit him really hard with Angel Fire Ignition. Okay, down to 12. We're up to 25, but that doesn't matter in this matchup. Let's see if they use their Doomscar here. Ignition can give haste if we can get enough mana to deploy a one-drop and play Ignition. Okay, they, be, they foretold a Behold, actually. Cast it right now. That means they have no land. They scry two to the bottom. They're looking for land desperately. Do they hit it? They do hit their land. So, they could have Jawari Disruption here. In which case, we just want to go Leonin plus Homestead Courage. Play around that Jawari. Alright. Opponent takes seven here. Not sure if they had Jawari or not, but we did play around it if they did. Let's see if they go land Doomscar. They struggled to hit land last time, though. Okay, Scoop. <laughs> I think we just beat Neo twice in a row. I think that was the person we just played. Not sure. Nice. Up into the numbered mythics. Mojo. Mojo Jojo. -jo. All right. That is a capable hand for sure, for sure. Do have an awkward tap land, though. That's all right. So no Lumomancer on one, unfortunately. But I think we can make it work. Let's see what Mojo Jojo jo has here. Ooh, we draw white on one. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Up against mono green. <laughs> These lands are so funny. I like them a lot. I love these lands, actually. So goofy. Emergent Sequence! Alright, we got a little uh, Rampadamp coming up. Red. Okay, okay. Just get the Light Scribe online. Planes. No attacks. Selesnia Ramp. So, I, I would guess... Omnath. This is Omnath, is what this is. Patch of the World Tree. Okay. Alright. We're getting in for this dam some damage this turn. I don't think Odette's going to play much, if any, removal. Red. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, what are we doing here? We got to get in, right? I think we just got to get in. Hexproof. That's to be four. That's two. Yeah, I'll spread it out like this. Just got to start making progress. <coughs> Next turn we can loan in Light Scribe and Sajiri Shelter, but... Okay, we successfully de-ramp them. Key to the Archive comes down. Alright, next turn is Omnath. I don't think they're going to have much removal, though. So we got to hit them while we can. They could have picked up removal off the key right now. Like, uh... 
you know, whatever. But, all right, look, we're just going to do it this way. All right, pump, pump, pump. Flash it back. Give both these guys vigilance. Very close to lethal. Pwn it down to one. Let's see if they got a Wrath of God here. Off key to the archive. Otherwise, we might have them here. They're thinking. If they had Wrath of God, they would just play it. So they don't. Looks like a very similar Omnath deck to something I played maybe two days ago. Um, it was fun, but not not super competitive, I would say. Okay, Rope comes out. So they don't have Wrath of God. They do have Teferi. Maybe they're just counting their mana. So they can untap and still play Wrath of God if they got it. I don't think they do, though. They have to plus here. One green uh, mana source is not enough. Since they're thinking hard, I can't imagine they um, have Wrath of God, though. All right, Dave Judgment. Sorry, Dave Judgment is what you can grab off this card. As they're thinking so hard, I just have to think they, they don't have anything here. Yep, they Doomblade won. Yeah, good game. And they scoop. All right, I was a little worried there, but <coughs> managed to pull through. Managed to pull through. Ruin. Ruin 22. All right, this is a keep. Mancer on one. Light Scrape on two. Go from there. Go from there. Okay, tap land on green. Makes me think Naya Wolves. Who else would play that? Yep, white on one. Luma Master coming down. Another tap land. Gruel so far. Uh, we could go white and anger, but. No, I think we just go uh, white again here. <coughs> just get the light scribe down. Once they play creatures, they're going to have a really tough time dealing with this. It's going to be no Blizzard Brawl. I don't know if they'll have any removal in this deck. <coughs> yeah, very slow start by the opponent here. Frostbite, okay. With no Snowlands. All right, you got it, friend. You got it. So, we can't go Geist Blaster and Anger. Probably want to drop another Lumomancer here. We could go Geist Blaster and do nothing this turn. Here's a little bad, but we are setting up for an epic turn here. I think that's okay. Drop off the planes. Don't need it right now. Show of confidence. Very nice. No attacks. End turn. All right, this coming turn, hopefully we uh, pop off a little bit. A lot of damage on the battlefield right now. See if they have more Frostbite in store, though. Nice, nice. That is a pretty good turn for us. Okay, land comes down. That's all right. That's all right. I think we'll go Anger, Show of Confidence. Should we play this land? We don't need to play this land immediately. Okay, let's give you Trample, because you're going to be big. We draw another Lumancer. Alright, that's a reason to uh, play this land, I suppose. You come down. Alright. You have Trample. Four, five. Uh, yeah, I'll put you here. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Let's see how they want to handle that. Chump blocks there. Point it down to eight. Have another pump spell next turn. Plus hexproof, although that's almost certainly irrelevant. Thank you, thank you, yeah. All right, scoops it up. Cruel werewolves, take a seat. If you liked that video, click on one of these two next. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time.